Hi everyone, this is Dr. Crystal Lee of LA Concierge Psychologist, and I'm here to talk to you today about making decisions. So I know that a lot of our teens and emerging adults really struggle with making decisions because they're anxious about it and they want to make the right decision. So instead of actually making the decision, what they end up doing is just thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it until sometimes it's even too late to make a decision, or they have to rush to make a decision, or they end up making an impulsive decision. So my tip and tool for you today is to use a pros and cons list. Now this might seem a little silly to you because everyone's heard of a pros and cons list, but the pros and cons list that I use with my clients is what I call a weighted pros and cons list. So instead of just simply putting a list of pros and cons and then kind of tallying up like, oh, I have 16 pros and only 10 cons, um, you actually weight each item. So before I go into the specifics of how to use a weighted pros and cons list, I want to explain why I suggest using a pros and cons list to my clients. So a lot of times when we're trying to think of making a decision, we have all of these thoughts swirling around in our mind. So putting pen to paper or pencil to paper really helps kind of organize our thoughts. And instead of thinking about the same things over and over again, once you put it down on paper, you kind of let it go. Um, so instead of thinking about like this one aspect over and over again in five minute increments, you let it go. It's on paper. You know it's there. You know you're not going to forget it. You know it's concretely part of your decision making process. So it helps uh, let go of ruminating. And another part um, is it, as I said, it helps organize all of your thoughts. And it makes things feel a little bit more objective because instead of just thinking about it and thinking about it, it's um, it becomes a concrete thing. It becomes like an item on a list. So pros and cons list can really help with that. So with a weighted pros and cons list, similar to a regular pros and cons list, you do write down just a list of pros and cons. Um, but instead of just tallying up how many there are for each pro and con that you write down, you're going to weight it. Um, and I like to use a scale of one to three. If you use a larger scale than that, um, sometimes what happens is people start overthinking how they want to weight that pro or con. So, you know, try to resist doing a one to five scale because then a lot of the thought process is going to be between, oh, is this a two or should I weigh this as a three or maybe I should weight it as a four. Um, but one, two, three, a three scale, you know, three point scale makes it pretty simple. One, meaning this is meaningful, but not a huge deal. Two being like, this is a little more meaningful. And three being, yes, this is very meaningful to me, this pro or con. So you write your list and then you weight every single pro and con that you write down. So that way, when you tally up the points at the bottom, you have a weighted score. So instead of maybe just having five pros versus four cons, you actually see that the pros um, outweigh the cons like 15 to five or something like that. So when I talk about weighting it, um, weight it based on um, value to you. So for example, if you're trying to make a decision about taking a job, and but you need to move for that job. So one of the cons might be moving and that, that's a big con to you because you've lived where you've lived forever. So you would weight that as a three because that means a lot to you needing to move. For other people, you know, maybe moving isn't a big deal. They've moved around their entire life. So that con would only be weighed as a one. But a pro might be that you're going to have amazing co-workers and that's extremely meaningful to you. So you weigh that as a three versus someone else like having co-workers is a nice, you know, good co-workers is a nice perk um, and they certainly value that. So they might weight it as a two instead of a three or a one. Um, so I hope this uh, technique helps you and um, I hope that your kids try it out and maybe you'll even try it out. Um, leave me some comments, let me know what you think um, and if you try it or not and I'll also leave a link to a file that actually shows you the template that I use so you can use it too. Alright, thank you, bye!